Hi, my name is Naveen Albert. I'm a product manager with Cisco Collaboration Technology Group, and I'm going to introduce to you a tool called CUCC 10.0 today. CUCC stands for Cisco Unified Configurator for Collaboration. That's a, that's a mouthful, but it's actually a very simple tool. Who's this video for? This video is for Cisco partners that deploy Business Edition 6000 and 7000. Uh, someone who deploys a lot, many units per month. A little bit of background on uh, BE6000. We brought this product to market a couple of years ago, bringing enterprise power to SMB. Well, we had to do a couple of things to make that happen. We had to first price it right, and then simplify the licensing and packaging to suit the SMB. Well, we succeeded at that. Sales are really taken off, and they're doing very well. Now we're ready to take it to the next level, and we're simplifying the management of the product and the deployment of the product dramatically to take our, our sales to the next level. So what do BE6000 partners want? They want a simple way to deploy the business edition 6000. And that's exactly what CCC does. So what does it do? CUCC is the fastest way to dial tone, voicemail, and single number reach, period. It helps our Cisco partners win deals against competition by lowering their cost of deployment and hence being able to compete uh, well. It also makes the deployment quick and hence improves customer satisfaction. So how much time does it really save? In, in our uh, tests with partners, we found out that it almost sh it shaved off 10 hours of upfront configuration time. That's more than a day's worth of work. Now, I can keep talking on about this, but instead, let me show you a demo of how it works. So here's how I got started. I went to Cisco.com, downloaded CCC, and unzipped it. It's a zip file, you unzip, and you get this folder. And I also have UCM fully installed with absolutely nothing on it. You'll see it's just a default device pool on it. And I also have Unity Connection fully installed um, with nothing on it. So I haven't done anything to these, just install them. I forgot to mention that I have turned on all the services on UCM and Unity Connection. I also now have double clicked on the CCC EXE file, and this pops up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start a new deployment, choose Business Edition 6000, choose from one of the templates that's available. I'm going to choose the 10.0 template, hit next, put in my UCM host name, and then specify my template file for sites. I do have a, a site template file that I've already set up, which has info about my site. I'll show you what it has. I'm then going to specify my uh, NTP hostname and my default time zone. I'm going to choose West Coast. And I'm going to choose other default settings. Now you see it went into the, the Excel spreadsheet that I have had with the site information and pulled all that information including you know the subnet masks, subnets, my phones are in location information, region information, device mobility info, site codes for intersite dialing, and time zones. So I'm gonna my my Site 1 is an East Coast, so I'm going to put that in and change the time zone to New York. I'm happy with the rest of it. I'm going to go ahead and hit Next. I'm going to enable Leave Auto Registration Enabled and I'm going to change the auto registration phone protocol to SIP and I'm also going to choose a dial plan. These dial plan files were not prepared by me, they were already in there, but these are fully customizable. You can customize according to your needs. We just provide North American dial plan, a simple version of them. 
I'm going to leave the default on my Unity connection configuration, the Hunt Pilots, and the starting extensions, and the MWI numbers. And I'm going to turn on self-provisioning. Self-provisioning is a, is a great new feature that helps you avoid looking up MAC addresses and boring things like that. I'm going to disable authentication because I want to do a simple demo. I'm going to hit next. And now it wants me to enter the credentials for my UCM and Unity connection. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm also going to test connection to make sure that I'm able to connect with those. I'm done. I'm going to save gateway templates to my gateway folder. This is going to have all this, this is going to output all the CLI commands that I would need to configure my gateways. And I'm going to hit finish. And let's see what it does. It's preparing to clear uh, all the data on UCM Unity Connection now. Now it has started updating with information that I put in. What is it putting in? It's creating partitions, call managers, call manager group, daytime groups, locations, regions. It's creating a whole bunch of things that you would have otherwise had to create manually and would have taken a, a lot of time. And I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. Right after that's done, I'm going to go ahead and upload the users. I have a end users, all my end users populated in this end user template. And these are my end users. And I have three for each site, the bars, the Lopez's, and the Kardashians, one, three for each site. I'm going to go ahead and give them all international privileges and device profiles. And I'm going to hit next. It pre populates the credentials. I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. It's now complete and I will hit finish. The next thing I'm going to do is do single number reach. It just put in a whole bunch of users. I'm going to go ahead and pull all those users up. And okay, it pulled all those users back from, from UCM. And I will go ahead and choose all of them. And I have a file, a single number reach file that's preloaded with all their cell phone information. So all their cell phone numbers are here and their timers. And I'm going to go ahead and create single number reach for all of them. There you go. It's number reach configuration for all of them. I'm going to go ahead and finish and I'm done. Now that we have configured uh, the UCM and Unity connection, let's go ahead and register a phone and test it out. So this phone, uh, my IP communicator auto-registered. Now I'm going to go ahead and self-provision it. Self-provisioning is so easy, it doesn't require MAC addresses or anything. Imagine uh, you go into uh, one of our users, Jack Bowers Cube, plug a phone into uh, Jack Bowers Cube, and now I'm going to provision it for Jack Bar. I know what Jack Bar's number is, so I'm going to call 2000. So I'm going to go ahead, go off of. To provision this device, enter your self provisioning identification number followed by the pound key. You have entered 811100. One, press the pound key to confirm or re-enter the identification number. This device will now restart with a new extension. Goodbye. 
Great, so it's gonna come back up with the new extension. This can be done by the partner or by the end user. You could email the end user and say, hey, provision your phone for yourself, just dial 2000 and put your number in. You know, it's useful in cases where you're migrating from an older system to a newer system. So the phone has come back up and it's Jack Barr now. Let's also go ahead and check his voicemail. I'm gonna click the voice message button. Enter your pin, followed by pound. His uh, default voice messaging pin is one one two two three three. Welcome to Cisco Unity Connection. Please take a moment to personalize. So you see his mailbox is already set up and he started initiating his mailbox. Let's also check the configuration on UCN. See all his calling shared spaces are set up. And let's go to route patterns and let's see his route patterns. His route patterns are set up so so he should be able to make outbound calls. Uh, we've set up also three gateways for him. Uh, I'm sorry, three uh, SIP trunks for him, which go to uh, to his SIP gateways, and uh, all his device pools and everything is set up. And also, you'll notice that his voicemail ports they should be all registered. Oh yeah, they're registered, and his Unity connection inboxes are all set up. Let's go ahead and re recap on this. So establishes CCC establishes a base configuration. So once CCC has done its job, uh, then it can no longer be used. You can you should go to the native interfaces or prime to customize the box. Now it's only for greenfield deployments and it can be easily learned. The workflow is like this you get the B6000, you install the software, use CCC to put a base configuration in go to native interfaces to customize it, then reverse sync that back into prime collaboration and hand it off to an IT guy of the end user to do the MACD work. We have some exciting things coming up in the future. Eventually all the CCC functionality will be built into prime collaboration 10.5 and we're also simplifying the installation experience. You'll see that all in the upcoming year. We have plenty of exciting things coming. How to get it started, go to cisco.com slash go slash cvd slash collaboration. That's the Cisco Validated Design Guides and CUCC. And feedback is on the support forums. Thank you for uh, spending your time with us. Hopefully this tool will save you a whole bunch of time in the future. Bye-bye.